What's up there, Gypsyan? What's going on? Oh, Iron Heads Jim, yo! Welcome, welcome, welcome. The real Brad <laughs> sack. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wanted to get my copy of my magazine so I could show everybody if anybody gives a fuck. Can everyone hear me okay? I want to make sure I, I'm fucking with some new equipment. And I want to make sure that it's coming through loud and clear. You guys hear, if you guys are hearing me okay, I assume that nobody's saying, we can't hear you. We can't hear you, you fucking greaseball. Yes, I'm trying out, I got new headphones. And you see, I got all of this other stuff. Sounds awesome, good. What's the fancy ear protection? So nobody, nobody punches me in my little ears. I got a new pair of headphones. I got them connected to this thing, which is with the backup audio, but I wanted to test it out on this. What's up, Hope? Test it out on this for when I do my regular uh, studio recordings. Big Rob here. Sound even better than normal. Ooh, good. Because it's technically it's going through the phone thing. Because last time when I connected this to the phone, you guys were telling me it was all broken up. So I don't want to fuck that up again. Sammy Hairstyle. What's up, Sammy? Everyone, welcome to Illegal Steroids. Presents Gearing Up right here on the Muscle Sport Mag Instagram and YouTube TV channel. Once it's up there. Happy New Year to you, Sam. Thank you, sir. Uh, UDM Alessa Racine, Jason's new Bessie. No, but I did comment on a comment that she was tagged in that somebody said to interview her, and I said I would be uh, proud to. Something like that. I'm paraphrasing. Motivation, inspiration, masturbation, <laughs> humanity, insanity. Yes. Yes. Definitely have to add masturbation to the Asians. Rastaman. What's up, buddy? Uh, having my alcohol, as Rob said it. I miss Rob, though. I want him to come back on the show. He's a good guest. Can't say he ain't. That would be a lie. That would be a lie. But yes, welcome indeed to this, again, holiday version of uh, our schedule. Veronica and Nikki, the K's are going wild. And Misfit Maniac Hamburg, Jim, what's up, Jim? What's up, everyone? Welcome to the show. Big Knob, Ben Baker acted. <laughs> what the fuck is that? When I get my phone fixed, Joe, I'll call in. You do that, Moses. You do that, and you will come on my show, and I will be happy to fucking have you on here, my friend. Very happy to have you on here. But there will be no show tomorrow. I was going to try to squeeze in the new AMA tomorrow, but uh, I have very important personal stuff to take care of. So I will be unable... To be here, I, I need to, to be elsewhere. So I shall make that episode up as easy as easy. Say hello, sexy Joe. Ooh. Did you uh did you uh, go to the uh transgender fucking uh, store? Please call Big Rob. I won't call him, but if he wants to come on the fucking show, I'll always there is no one that is not welcome on the show. Big Blob Clitoris has joined the fucking feed. Welcome, BBC. <laughs> but yes, yes, indeed. A uh, big, big slob fatness and uh, Samini. Not to be confused with Rich Samini, the ESPN New York's jet beat writer. Fuck Big Blob Retard. Um... I never have. Is he any good in bed? Can anyone tell me? Big Gab, what's up? J G G, and there she is, one half of the newest fucking team, Miss Fitness. Apologize to Big Rob. I'm sorry, Big Rob, that I made you look bad because you made yourself look bad. I just I use one's own words against them. Rob Harrison, he's respectable. I like that new Johnny Bravo video. I'm respectable. I've seen that before, though. But I've never seen it as, as long as that. He's cookie cutter. But yes, um, yes, Adam, I will not. Um, I was I was doing that in jest. Um, Kim Haynes and Crystal Wildfire, Anthony, we're going to make an announcement very soon on when their show will be starting. What's up? Nucky Wayne, what's up? Uh, oh, there's, see, there's my alcoholic burps again, according to Big Rob. He's waiting for his 24 hours to pay his deal. He should have it by now. I fucking mailed it last week. Jago, what's up, Jago? 
But the new show, uh, Crystal and Kim, uh, I can tell you this, the second show they're going to do will be live from the LA Fit Expo at night at the bar. No, but actually it'll be 5 p.m. in Pacific time, Kim. I just thought of that. So we'll probably actually do it from the expo itself. Or we can wait and do it a little later in the evening since it's Friday. People stay up late and we can be intoxicated. What we should do is we'll do your show. And then we'll do another live, Intoxicated from the Bar, to get a wrap-up. What do people think of the new show? Big Rob will come back if he does a video apology. Uh, no, I'm not doing a video apology. He could suck my dick at sundown. How's that? See, I think, yeah, I, I, just, I was thinking in my head, um, hotel, bar, but maybe we'll just push you off and do it later that day. This is like the pilots, the tests, the first two test uh, episodes. And I know it's going to be a fucking bonanza hit. Winstrol Clan Test. Is there an alternative for leaning? For, for leaning? Oh, Winstrol is expensive. You know what? I, I am actually a very, um, uh, uh, Winstrol positive person. It, it did help me out when I was trying to, uh, cut down. Um, I don't find it to be that expensive. Is it? I don't know. I thought it was comparable most to, you know, with the regular shit. Um, as far as uh, AAS goes, that's your best. I know people say fucking Anavar, but that's a, that you know that. Not that it's a girly drug, but you're gonna need to take a lot, and it's not worth it. Um, I would say if you're just looking to lean more, just uh, you know less carbs and more cardio, and then just use test, then you'll be all right. You know. So, uh, but yeah, Winstrol definitely uh, is a a good cutting agent. <laughs> Johnny Juice. Two drunk chicks at a bar, right? And me standing behind them fucking pulling my pud. <laughs> the cookie cutter dads, Vince McClown and Hamburglar. Oh my, wow. Wow. Enos Cabell, what's up? And Kat Vong. What's up, Kathy? And the ZZZ. Joe, your thoughts on Mean Gene? Oh, very, very, you know. Listen, the guy was great. Hey, my vet, what's up, bro? Uh, the guy was great. Final motivation. Welcome to the show. Definitely will be missed, but he was great. I mean, he did the fucking XFL. He did the fucking WBF when they had the bodybuilding federation. Um, so Mean Gene was uh, multifaceted, but the best interviewer probably in wrestling history, in my humble opinion, uh, Mean Gene Oakland. He, he, was, he really played it up perfectly. Um, and uh, Keith has showed me a classic... Um, uh, Iron Sheik being interviewed where he said you're a good Jew or something he called <laughs> Mean Gene got abused by the NWF who didn't? Everybody did right? is Cucumber Gate real? I'm gonna say no I'm trying to, I, I will hope that's not for Jason, ooh there she is Tiffany, Tiffany hi Tiffany oh we had fun yesterday with you on the show I thought about that a lot after the show by the way Yes, and I was touching myself when I did. Andrew, my mentor, my friend. I watched yesterday's wrestling. Yes, wrestling since '75. Yeah, I, I, I've probably been watching it, probably similar, maybe even earlier than that. Cause you're a youngster compared to me, Haynes. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> yes, new headphones, P. Kenny. I got brand new ones. They just came in the fucking mail yesterday. Ariana's biggest fans in the house. So yes, Kim and Crystal, Wildfire and Fittis. Me born in 75. I was eight. Eight years of age in 75. I'm 50 next month. Ah, you're a kid. I'm 51 and, 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 and change. <laughs> you're not missing anything now, W. That's what everybody says. I haven't watched it since my son got out of it. I was taking him for a few years, a bunch of different wrestling. We did one to TNA Live, WWE, Independence, like, you know, local shit by me. I knew a few of the guys, so I used to get in for free and, and get them right in the front row. I had my uh, son and his friend. You're not alive in 75. Wow. I was already jerking off for about three to four years by then. <laughs> no wonder why I'm a third pig now. But everyone, welcome to LegalSteroids.com presents Gearing Up. 
Independent Ring of Honor. I, 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 I haven't watched a lot of ROH, but I, I, the, the little that I have seen, it's good. I, my favorite was, I mean, it's, it's obvious that ECW was great, but, um, besides that, I really, NWO, when, you know, the Monday Night Wars was the best. But, uh, I'm your son, Joe. You <laughs> Kim Haynes is she she meant to type 25 next month. She made a mistake. She sneezed as she was typing that. Can't wait for Kim and hey Lolly, Lolly, your hashtag work by the way. So yes, I owe Mark Fellatio. <laughs> Cody Rhodes is Oh, that's right. I saw something that Cody Rhodes is in there. EC Dubs. Kim is awesome. Adam McClude, McLeod McClude. He loves her. Yes, we all do. Just think about how fucking cool that show is going to be. It's going to be, it's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> hey, Joe, what's the status on that BJ? I got a partial BJ on New Year's Eve. And that is, I don't get full completion BJs in my house. So I take what I can get. And I told my wife, that the new hashtag you guys were starting yesterday was the uh, anal, and um, and she's the, she told me the only time she would give me anal is either on her deathbed or if we went to <laughs> yeah Mark it worked I love you bro it, it it trended enough to get her mouth on my member mule and mouth she had but um uh, she's told me that uh, if I took her to Bora Bora. And we had like, they have those over the fucking, uh, lagoon, like, you know, little huts where you stay in. Uh, it almost looks like in Deer Hunter when they were playing, um, uh, Viet Cong at gunpoint Russian roulette. And she says if we went there, she would finally give up the balloon knot. So I said, well, we're going to the travel agent this weekend. And this is a few years ago. And they said, well, what a 66 year life to anal. Okay. <laughs> And, um, oh, you got to take a plane and then you got to go to Hawaii and then take a puddle jump or not. And she's like, well, I'm not doing all of that. And I said, well, I am. You know, I said, you can't claim something. And then when I said I would do it, say, oh, it, it's too much of a pain in the ass to get there and it's too expensive. We can't afford it. I said, I'll spend my last dime to get in that ass. So just green screen. If I, <laughs> I should, you know what? That's a great. Maybe I'll do a little quick, like goofy commercial or something for the uh, for one of the MSTVs coming up. Um, yeah, that's a K Fitness. Who, who said? Oh, my vet. Thank you, bro. That is a fucking great idea. I can find definitely find a picture online of that thing. Maybe I'll do it naked now. I cannot get thrown off of YouTubes. We need the YouTubes. So I hope everyone is having a good short week. Obviously, it's a short week because of the uh, the New Year's. Um, and it's going to be an uh, even shorter week for me because I cannot make it in tomorrow, like I said. So I, I will make up the AMA. I'll be looking forward to it. But um, uh, duty calls. So I must uh, take care of a beeswax elsewhere. I will not be able to get in here. Joe P. and Tyrell's wife. <laughs> I'm fucking out of here. Great. Oh, you guys are a pisser. Joe, famous YouTube celery. Nope. Big Rob. Big Rob. I can't even hold a fucking candle. I'm a respectable Arab American, damn it. I have Kia Ken. <laughs> Who did that post with the Keds? The sneakers? <laughs> I have Keds. Stop it, John! Oh, so did Rob put any videos out since that one? Was it two days ago saying that I altered and doctored the text? <laughs> Deep old Rob. Altered the texts. So then he should post his texts saying what he claims he really did or didn't say then. Has BRG gotten to cycle three and back to where he wants to make up? Um, well, he did text me. It, it was a couple of days after the blow up where uh, he basically said, if I get some real sponsors and he can get paid, he would do it. <laughs> it it's, <laughs> so I guess in a way, Adam, yeah, maybe the uh, cycle, uh, Imad cycle is uh, starting to fucking kick into fucking gear. What's up, you fucking Yankee? College dad. Hey, Mikey Arbuckle, you changed your name. 
See, I get confused. I don't know what you, I, I don't know these names, but I will remember that one now. Like, th remember Fatty Arbuckle, the actor? They said he put like Coke bottles up chicks' fucking twats and stuff. And then he got caught, I think, with an underage girl and got blackballed. He gets agitated anyway, sometimes brings up how you know. <laughs> Keep bringing it up. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> But that dude just uses people. Yeah, I'm, Kenny, I know. I'm fucking using him for hits. Uh, he's like a load rag to me. <laughs> and he can do the same for me. If he if he gets hits when he curses me out, do go for it, bro. I, I can care less. Do a fucking loud in the city against me. <laughs> I would fucking retweet that shit a million times, bro. It runs in the family to put shit up with chicks' ass. <laughs> Keepalus! Yo, what's up, Keepalus? If you could grow a man carpet... Wait, wait, hold on a second. If you can... Where is that? If you can grow a man carpet that consists of a Johnny Bravo's hair, would you stop manscaping? <laughs> Come on, leave Johnny Bravo's hair alone. I like it. At some point, we're going to find out a mental institution in Michigan has been missing a paycheck. No, I wouldn't be shocked. Uh, don't unsubscribe. Hello from India. <laughs> Keepalus! <laughs> Thoughts on Artie Lang's nose. Um, just like I can't hold the candle to Big Rob as a YouTube celery, Artie Lang can't hold the candle to my nose. In the city! Loud in the city! That was not the city. Can I get somebody from Michigan? Like, I guess Crystal might be able to say, like, where he was. I've seen pictures of downtown Detroit, and it looks like fucking Harlem. In New York, it's you know, it's a city. That was fucking tree-lined fucking streets. Do you prefer a chick with, oh, smooth. I want that thing like the day she was born. <laughs> that didn't come out right. <laughs> That's not the city. I'm talking loud in the suburbs. <laughs> uh, maybe the neighborhood was bad. Listen, Long Island's the suburbs. Go through Wine Dance and Kefis can fucking, you know, he's laughing probably as he hears me say that. It's a fucking shithole. Forest Hills. Oh, man. I know it well. Joe Walsh in the city. Yes, at the end of the Warriors, as the fucking credits come up, they fucking play in the city. All the way back to Coney. What's up, poppers? I can be like that big lip black DJ. He's, he's racist against blacks. 40 ounces, baby. He's really missing Roger. You're such be hun. You're amazing. I am honored to have you as my friend, hun. Growing up, what type of jobs did you do? Blow. <laughs> no. um, um, paper out first. Um, key food. You know, uh, you know, grocery store, stock board like my son does now in a deli. Um, that kind of shit. Um, I worked at McDonald's for a short period of time when I was 16, and I almost beat up one of the assistant managers, so they, you know, they, they pretty much let me quit, because they were going to probably fire me. Um, <laughs> they let me resign. I got honorably discharged from McDonald's. <laughs> the best is when you call them a do 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 Chippendales, yeah. <laughs> Son of Sammy Davis, what's up, kid? How the fuck are you? What else did I do? Um, mostly grocery stores, um, you know. But I I got my career uh, eight days after my twentieth birthday, so I really didn't have a lot of kid time, if you will. Sammy Davis wants to come. You hate your job, so do muscle sport mag. <laughs> do do the porn version. All right. Oh, Next shit. Pick. Yo, is this Joe Pisitaro? Joe You little Pisitaro. hater bitch. You little hater bitch. <laughs> Dude. Bro, Yo. how cunty is that cunt, the Dan, the bodybuilder in Thailand? Oh, he gets what he deserves in life, man. That's somebody who was riddled with insecurities growing up that didn't feel like he you know, fit in, that moved to Thailand because he couldn't make it in the greatest country in the world. I mean, think about how great this fucking country is. If someone like Big Rob, can make the type of money that he supposedly makes. 300 large a year. Dude, I feel like I can do anything. Holy shit. But Joe, Joe, uh, you only pay me $20, Joe. Hey, you? Wait, Joe, you only, uh, you only pay me $20, Joe. You know, his, his fucking lips look paralyzed, dude. It's like, what's going with that guy? But I Yo. actually like him, though, Nick. He actually you like him? me. He's, I laugh. I find him at the... I don't have any hate yeah, but 
Yeah, you're cutting out. I mean, <laughs> but that's like it's different because it's like there's laughing at like someone like Eddie Murphy, then there's laughing at you know a retard, you know. <laughs> Yeah, but I, to me, he's, um, I, I think he's lonely, and he finds pleasure in having people, like, gang up on him. True, because, you know, he derives some weird fucking pleasure out of it. Well, because he's too busy paying for his wife's Burberry and Gucci socks and, and, and helping out the needy kids. Get yeah, the fuck out of here, Rob. Feeding the homeless and helping the car accident guy with the jacket. Yeah, it, so like, dude. Not. The way you handled that with the text messages was brilliant. I mean, Joe, you, you're the type of man I want to be when I grow up because you I, could – because I'm, I'm an asshole because, I mean, I'm younger though, but I would have stuck it to Ron Harris when he was saying the whole race baiting thing and shit like that, which uh, is, an, is a whole other story. But I would have been like, yeah, get that motherfucker because Ron Harris is a weasel, man. You should stick it to him in any chance you get. But you, you said do whatever you want to do, you know, and yeah. – the proof was in the pudding. I the proof was I in the pudding. Let Rob, I gave him rope and he hung himself. It was the, and that's, one of the easiest things I've ever done in my fucking life, bro. And that's why he left, man. That's why he left the chat. And then, yo, the funniest fucking thing was right after your, the, the kettle is burning hot. And then you have that guy, like, with the lazy uh, eye coming in and shit. Too. Yo, I was like, what the fuck was that? Like, yo, I've been following your shit for what? How long now? Like, two and a half years since living the Jack Life series? Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know where the fuck you're finding these guys. You're like the new, you're like the the musclehead Howard Stern now. <laughs> Bro, you know? it's like there's a big search going on to try to find his account. I don't know who the fuck he was. I've never <laughs> seen him before. I I, I I feel bad for the kid though. So I I do want to bring him to the table. Maybe he'll help him get followers. Yeah, well, he looked like I think he might. Stupid shit though. You know. Yeah, well. It... He looked like a Chernobyl baby or something. Maybe Mr. Johnson's in his basement. Who knows? You know. Mr. Johnson actually DM'd me. Really? Yes. What did he say? He said that his he got his house got burglarized and he uh, he lost his phone and all of this shit. But he's he's getting a new phone. He's getting back. He's coming back. So all I right, that's him, good to hear. I hope, you, bro. you know, we wish them. Uh, yeah, memory, I, I hope that's not true. Because he's you know he's a little different, but he's a, he's a good guy, you know. Yeah, he's all right. I don't know if I would fucking leave my daughter at his house for fifty. <laughs> yeah, I mean. But, you know, <laughs> Talking on Instagram, fucking 300 miles or whatever, you know, to Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's, he's, he's a right. cool guy. <laughs> well, he better get a phone real quick with this new show with uh, Kim Haynes and Crystal. Imagine the pud he's going to be pulling to that program. Oh, my, dude, he's going to have fucking burns on his cock. I mean, he's going to. I'm going to. Oh, fuck. Joe, I don't want to waste your time. Happy New Year, brother. I just wanted to get in here and uh, sh Man, show my face so I'm still alive. On the show. My show is and, your show, my friend. And listen, when We're I... We're sitting at Christmas dinner together once you marry my daughter. I was going to say, once I, once I clean up my act and I get this fucking monkey off my back, I'll be, I'll be at Christmas dinner with you, you know? Go fuck the world and then you come back. You're always <laughs> Go to Thanks, Joe, fuck every fucking broad in the mouth, ass and cunt, and then you fucking settle down. Enjoy yourself first, like I did. <laughs> That's a hell yeah, Joe. And big shout out to Kefis. I fucking love that guy. Kefis, yeah. You guys Kefis is a good dude. Sports guys, bro. Dude, I love the show. I love the sports show. Shitload of sports. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do some more soon. I still got a couple I got to post up. We record a bunch in one day, and then I spread them out. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Good shit on the vein. Don't you worry, bro. All right, Joe. Well, I'm leaving now because All I'm right, going to show you. All right, all right. I'm going to get the FBI up your ass out. No, I'm going to get the FBI, yeah. New York and the fucking Pine Barrens. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye, Joe. All right, bro, thanks. There he is, my future son-in-law, Nick D, also known as son of Sammy Davis. A very nice, respectable, young Italian gentleman. Yes, very important. Hey, he knows what's up. Okay, but what about those deep balls? Where are the deep balls? Deep balls. You believe that he thought <laughs> you like that camera? You believe that he thought these were fucking Diana balls? Oh, I have to give out the code. Forty percent. Jan forty. J A N forty. Or Jan, like Jan Brady. The, <laughs> the middle sister annoying. This fucking thing, 40% off. Use Jan 40 the whole month of January. Joe, my sister's a lawyer. You're gonna get in trouble. Fuck that. I want to marry him. You're going to marry him, Kim? Oh, shit, man. All right. Well, you 
you, you, you could get his, his wishes made like that because he just he wants to go out and get laid and then settle down. He wants to fuck a lot of chicks. I don't blame him. <laughs> Joe's out trying to sell drugs. <laughs> I'm going to sell drugs. Look at these drugs I'm selling. Yes. What a fucking... What a fucking... Um, I'll be in Michigan in a couple of weeks. I'll have a nice little video. Oh, please do. Marry me again. Fuck, why do you do this live when Greg's video just posted? Oh, shit, yeah, you know what? I should have fucking waited till this thing was over. But you know what? You can watch Greg's video as soon as this ends. It's on YouTubes, the YouTubes. Sammy Davis Jr. is a lucky guy. Hey, Rich Pena, what's up, bro? Haven't used pro hormones in years or even supplement. Well, I'm using this shit now, man. You know, I'm not going to lie. They fucking send me it. What am I going to fucking do? You know, fucking put it in a museum? You know, John Zaffis' fucking paranormal museum? No, I'm going to fucking take it. Kim, you can't talk like that to people. Like, Robbie takes it seriously. He's going to be in your DM. And now Nick's on the fucking... <laughs> Nick, you're a fucking... That's a... Oh, Granny Figs, where have you been? I saw what that puta was doing to you in the, on the fucking highway. You were in the fucking back of the truck again. How was your Christmas and New Year's, Granny Fix? I hope everything went up with all Your shit doesn't work. It's all farting powder. Yes, that, didn't he say that? Didn't uh, 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 Big Big Bob say that? He'll be in Kim's DM taking it. Oh, God. Hey, Rick, what's up? Is it true the movie Rain Man is loosely based on Johnny Bravo and Big Rob Dustin Hoffman? Johnny Bravo's fucking Tom Cruise. And Deanna Maybrook is that guinea broad that he was fucking when that retard fucking Ray walked in. <laughs> Remember when he walks in on him, he's fucking his girlfriend in the hotel, and the brother, the, the autistic kid, well, well, guy walks in. Kmart sucks, right? Puto Nate no love me. He leaving me to stay in Bono when he's in the German. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Titan's Flamehead. That is a fucking interesting name. Welcome to the fucking show, bro. Welcome to the program. Yes, Rain Man, a very, very uh, excellent movie. Uh, both actors really fucking knocked it out of the park. Are you in the big estrogenic medley of Rob still beefing? I have no, I never had a beef with him. He he came out swinging, and, and then I just, you know, said, here's your text. Game over. I mean, that was it. it. It was more of like, you know, going to the batting cages than it was you know, the fucking slow pitch softball batting cages. It was easy. Hey, bro, what's up, motherfucker? Nate's still in Germany, Granny Figs. What is he doing in Germany? Maybe he can hang out with Denise. Denise is a German guy. Ah. Andrea Garba, ciao, what's up? I'm all paranoid about the FBI is going to be at my door. Yeah, you better be careful. I don't know who's worse, him or the Iron Douche. In different ways, one is worse than the other, but not in the same capacities. Um, you know, cringeworthy stuff, ironic one. You know, trying to make like bodybuilding to be like <laughs> something legit. <laughs> And Jesse's here. Ooh, where is she? Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Joe, you need to throw a party at those expos. Haven't been to the LA Expo. Dude, we have the booth. 357. I need medicine, put a favor in the Walgreen. <laughs> you, have, you need the diapers to make poo poo in your pantalones. You got to go to Stephanie Walgreens' as Walgreens. He's at a swinger club in Dursdorf. Any chance, savage, savage Psycho Joe. I would love to get him back on, but I think he kind of like blew his load last time he was on. I mean, he kind of really, <laughs> and I really was being kid glovish with the fucking guy. I didn't want to be a dick, but he, he, he was another one that just, <laughs> my douche make a great couple. Nate's busy in Germany making Dumbo porn money. Listen, not for nothing, man. Guys say shit about Dumbo. Every one of you would fucking eat a fucking shit sandwich on semolina bread, courtesy of a colon. So let's just, let's, let's be square and honest. Nine Inch Nate released the tape. Is that what that whole thing is? It's how big his dick is? 
I met him in person at the Olympia, but he was not naked, so I can't say for sure if it is a niner. We used to have my friend PD Nines, we used to call him. He was one of my fellow policemen, because he had a nine inch cock. Artie, what's up, bro? How about my Longhorns? Ooh, that was a great fucking game there, fucking Rick. The Cowboys will open a can of whoop ass. Don't care, will not be watching that NFL. I watched the college. Yes, the mentally ill Nate Muslim. <laughs> I see the sexy tape of the Punta Leech Novia. She liked it. Yeah, that little fucking, she, she's getting, I, I was like looking at some of her little pictures and stuff and people were in our DM were talking about that. Look good, man. He showed Lenny a transsexual tape of him and Dumbo. What do you think about Rob about to be overthrown by dead? I don't, I think it, we leave him in place. Don't do a coup de grace. Leave him in place. Because then if he's out, then where are we going to get our men's from? And next week's show, who's more deluded? Savage Life with Joe, Big Rob Fitness. You decide. <laughs> I can put one of those polls, right? Don't they have polls for the uh, story? I know on Twitter they do. Nice headphones. You like those? Oh, yeah, I boosted them out of a car. <laughs> Nate's a great guy, but we must troll him until he gives us dumb phones. <laughs> oh, no. It's his girl, and he's a good sport about all of that shit. He doesn't get all fucking crazy. The Kim Haynes, give me good dreams. <laughs> oh, you like uh, uh, women? You're, you're into chicks also, Granny? <laughs> oh, put the diaper on. <laughs> Andrew is so respectful, and it starts. Oh, you never stop. Joe is on the take. Yes. yes. I, got, I got the pad, they used to call that. Ink Jesse, can you send me a follow on? I understand if you're not still awesome. How did you get sex tape to transsexual? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing myself. How did we get a chick with dicks here? Every time I come in here, I think to myself, what the hell am I doing when I just can't resist? Come on, Artie. This is fucking fun. For an hour of fucking day, just... Everybody just say fuck it. <laughs> in 1949, I got with Uno Punta in prison. Also, you were you you had no choice. You were in jail, so you need it was either that or no sex. You mean like the guards? You couldn't fuck one of the guy guards, so you went with a chick. <laughs> Why were you in 1949? You must have been fairly young, Granny Figs. It was before you were Granny. <laughs> Get some new glasses. You don't like these, Chris? <laughs> I can't. I can't read. <laughs> Uh, you know what it is? It goes up quick, and I'm making an excuse now <laughs> instead of just being fucking. You know. <laughs> what are those white stains on your specs? <laughs> Granny figs, her diaper exploded when I was eating her ass. <laughs> Big Brad Wolf sex tape coming soon. He's a single man. <laughs> no, come on. Who cares? Chris Bra in the house. Show toilet, Granny Figs. <laughs> I love when the toilet. They apparently don't work. You're right, bro. Oh, great show. Really? Hopefully somebody thinks so good. I want that Rob guy to prep the bull. Oh. Before I go deep with Kim to the teeth to the girl. Fucking Audi, I love you, you fucking maniac. That is so funny. Chris Rock! I like Chris's new fucking part two of the big Rob thing. <laughs> Joe by Carol. All 20 viewers are strictly from Rob's fan base. Granny's going to be, uh, I guess she's finishing. <laughs> you work in a hospital or something, bro? <laughs> strong hospital toilet. Did everything come out okay, Granny? <laughs> oh, there's the shower. That you were in a hospital room. You must be a nurse or something. <laughs> That's Granny Fix. <laughs> Thank you, Granny. I hope it all came out okay. <laughs> and no fucking skid marks. <laughs> It was right down. Doesn't leave any tiger stripes. I think he's a patient in the hospital. Yeah, but every time he comes on live, months at a time, in between, he's got to work in the hospital. 
That's all good. I think it's great. Commercial great. Yeah. Man, you see that fucking thing? That would be good. I need one of those. I should fucking, I should fucking go to a you know, the second hand shop. And you got any old hospital fucking shit? Is <laughs> no stains left? <laughs> exactly. That's a fucking beautiful shit. You, know? <laughs> you love this show, guys. <laughs> but guys, LA Fit Expo. I, I, I hope, I hope a lot of you guys can make it and come by. That's why I can never come on the show from my Instagram with a friend that shouldn't have watched it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so your friends would be like, dude, what the fuck? Jay Masters as vice president. Granny Figs can be a cardio surgeon. <laughs> Sorry, Joe, I don't know how to work at the MySpace. <laughs> I still have a MySpace. My name was Sports Scribe on it. Oh, God, okay. Oh, I got a new toy. Wait, let me play with it. I don't know if you can. Hopefully you can hear it. I just downloaded this thing. Let me see if I can get it to work properly. Let me know if you guys can hear this. I'll turn it up all the way. Can you hear that? I got a soundboard and I can download my own things. So I, I, I just got it. Here's Granny Figs before that video. <laughs> Mala Joe, the walls are closed. They got nothing on it, bro. You think those douchebag Democrats that got sworn in today are going to change anything? Can you guys hear that all right? Is that from the Hindenburg? Yes. Hit, hit. <laughs> Here's me when I, when, before I go see Granny Figs. And fucking 10 minutes later. <laughs> but I gotta get, uh, I gotta get um, things to put up on here. You know, the fucking. Uh... We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. <laughs> but the best one is. Oh, <laughs> oh Bull Yo, what's up? I'm a Democrat, yo. Even when I was in the union, we were the only union that wasn't fucking Democrat. <laughs> we were, PBA was like, get the fuck out of here. Will you ever go back to your old studio with the pictures of Osama Bin Laden? <laughs> that was actually my old sports magazine uh, conference room where I worked um, before I went to work for Flex. I don't understand how I could still be allowed to work when she's clearly having an old age mental issue. Who, Granny Figs? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> Let's hear you finish pulling your load. Wait, let me find something else. Nah, doesn't work. I gotta find some fucking things. Here's the old days. <laughs> oh, oh, Crystal, do it again. Oh, Kim, Kim, get it now. Oh, from the other side. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm a Democratic, just a non-liberal. It makes sense. You're, you're fucking center-left, probably. And I'm fucking you know, as far right as you can go. The Republican Giuliani. Yeah. We love Giuliani, but he didn't give us a raise. But I still love him. And is it the Pelosi? It sounds like some Rob's crying sentence. Andrew, my friend. Shuey, what's up? It's my new toy, but I got to download. Um, well, I have some good stuff, but I got to, you know, I got to upload it to this fucking soundboard. Valentino soundbite. I'm not even on the fucking Bubanya. Yeah. I can get anything I want. I have to just, you know, make an MP3 uh, out of it, and then I can upload it to this motherfucking thing. I'm going to be like Fred Norris on the Howard Stern show with the fucking, uh, with the thing. They give you, all, they, they give you a few of them, but. You gotta, you gotta get your own. Oh, here's one called Nose. This will be good for me. Let's see what it is. <laughs> yeah, I gotta upload a few of them, and we'll see what happens. I didn't have a chance. I just did that one to test it to see how it works. Just seeing how it works. But that's the story, yes. Um, new Greg video, and then his Country Crush video will be coming soon thereafter. What's the name of the app? It's called uh, Sound Effects. Sound Effects, and then it says TM Soft. 
Uh, I guess that's the fucking uh, the company. But it was a fucking on the app store. Going to do a GoFundMe page so I can knock out that big Rob. No, it, you have to have humanity, Shuey. Do you have the voice of Lenny killing? <laughs> See, I, I have to find these things out there and then just trim them. Uh, so it's just that line, and then I can fucking upload it. You're so far right, you might as well have a Confederate flag and strange fruit hanging from your poplar tree. <laughs> oh, my God. See, I'm a conservative, but I'm not one of those, like, holy roller conservatives that burp a sound of facts. Yes, according to Big Roberts, it means that you're a, a alcoholic. You need to get my lord this... The real Malord or somebody that's got an account that looks like his? Yes, please kill me, goddess, or put fucking face in it. <laughs> a porch monkey. See, I'm in trouble when Lenny says that. I can't repeat that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yes, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm into um, pro-choice. See, so that's a fucking, uh, you know, a Lenny sound app would be fucking amazing. Imagine grunts and little face. I, I got to try to get hard come on. <laughs> you keep losing service. Why? Why are you losing? Are you in a tunnel of sorts? <laughs> I'm just talking shit, Joe. You know, I know, Artie. You're my guy, too. Could you imagine, though, me and you, fucking friends? And then they say I'm racist, and they probably say the same thing to you. <laughs> and we're buds. They're called pork munchies. <laughs> Audie, you don't eat pork rinds, do you? I'm being stereotypical, but I have to ask. It's like asking me if I eat fucking macaroni and gravy. <laughs> they used to sell a lot of those in my old uh, working area. <laughs> Arthritis, Audie is as black as his dick. <laughs> yeah, remember that <laughs> last week? <laughs> Oh, fuck, yeah, but I'm going to get some new uh, sound effects hopefully soon. I did growing up, not going to lie. I, Bro, one of my friends when we were kids had one, you know, a bag, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Stinks, man. He goes, try one, and it was nasty, and I never, never had one after that. I got a PB in the gym today, Joe. A PB, a prick in your butt? <laughs> I'm a captain on a boat on now for another week. You're on a boat? Hope you're not like the captain from Captain and Tennille. He kicked the fucking bucket yesterday. <laughs> Did Rob steal your intro? He could have it. It's him on it. <laughs> you got to get that nice boy with the lazy eye on. Ooh, vegetable soup. <laughs> My spine is doing wonderful. I got to fucking just work out very light. Who's the sponsor today, Stevie? Strange that you ask. LegalSteroids.com presents Gearing Up right here on uh, Muscle Sports Mag Channel. Hey, man, will you be doing the Chicago Fit Expo? I want to say yes, but it all is going to go hinging on how this L.A. Fit Expo goes because there was a lot of bumps in the road. I'll just leave it at that. You repping any new supplements for the show? Always like trying le LegalSteroids.com. Use your code JAN40. You save 40% the whole month of January. Personal best. Oh, I thought you said. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm always thinking about anal. Time for a commercial break. And we'll be right back after this quick word from LegalSteroids.com. Save 40% this month, January 2018. JAN40 at checkout right there on LegalSteroids.com. Title sponsor of Gear It Up every Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time on at Muscle Sport Mag Instagram Live. How's that? Brooklyn. Where in Brooklyn, natural? Where in Brooklyn? That's my old stomping grounds. I'm a Bensonhurst kid. Well, if you come to Chicago, we can meet, and I'll take you to my neighbor, and we can do a video at my gym. You'll be like the only white guy. Now, would I, would I be able to leave said gym alive? <laughs> I get real gear for free. <laughs> Fake steroids. <laughs> They're not steroids. They're not steroids. They're pro-hormones. There's a difference. Huge difference. One is complete. It's like saying I want fucking potato chips or pretzels. It's two different. Queens, New York. Queens, the most appropriately named borough, we used to call that being from Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. 
<laughs> we used to say that to be assholes. On one of Big Rob's last lives, he says that you wouldn't show up at the expo for fear he might be there. I am going, and I guess he's talking about the Arnold. Um, yes, I shall be there. And I won't need no Burger King bodyguards either. Ali, you're cute to the dub. I'm going to be seeing you in a few weeks, Ali. LOL, as long as you can stay close to me. I got street cred around here. I'm not leaving you a butt. <laughs> the one when he was melting down. So I, I, I do not ever pro hormones were banned so long. No, not this. If I'm selling this right now. Here, <laughs> go to that site. I can't wait for meeting Big Rob. I can't wait to meet him in person either. What if he wants to fight you? I never say no. I'll fight him. I give a fuck. <laughs> he can't be a cunt and call the cops afterwards. Fucking loser goes home. That's it. You know, win or lose. You fucking, that's it. You get up, you dust, the, you dust yourself off, and you go have a beer. Sue Smith, do you still want me to tag you in my post, pal? I, I think he's just, uh, he's just angry. He's desperate. He, he saw that he got dressed down. Uh, I got your back, and I'm no Burger King bodyguard. You are certainly not. Pro hormones equal baby steroids. They work though. Uh, listen, I told you, I if if I was just on this, you know, trying to be a natty guy, I don't know how good it would do. But I take this with my testosterone. I take this every day, and I hit it once a week. Promises, please. Wait, what is this going on here? Hold on a second. Modern day Rasputin. Guys, please don't buy what this guy promotes, please. Big Rob took them, and now what? He's fucking crying in front of the camera. <laughs> if this Rob guy has a problem with you, he has a problem with me and my... There you go, Artie. Artie's got my back, bro. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Nah, it's all right. Big Rob's okay. I do like the fuck. He didn't get dressed down. That's the level he's on. Well, you know what? He, he, he came out fucking, you know, like he was, you know, had a machine gun, and he had a fucking you know, a water pistol that he forgot to fill up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Who's the sponsor? LegalSteroids.com. 40% off using the code JAN40 in the new year. Humanity is dead. We must bring it back to life. Pray for Joe to get anal from the wife survives. I'm going to tell her that. I'm going to tell her the new hashtag, uh, which I, I did say it last night, but she was just like... She, she she just shakes her head. She's she's so used to just this the fucking retardation that goes on with me and all this stupid crap. I love it when Johnny Bravo mentions his wife, Rob Rages. See, I don't like doing that. And I've told Johnny that straight out. That I don't like when people, you know, say shit about somebody they have a problem with. Anybody related to them. I don't like when people try to fuck with your job, your wife, your kids, your neighbor, your dog, your cat. Your, your LegalSteroids.com supply. Go after the guy you're mad at. You don't need to hit his fucking wife with a rank out. Oh, don't ever do that shit if you come to my block. Just act. In my old neighborhood, if you all you had to say to somebody in an argument was your mother. You didn't have to even say anything after that. Just those two words. It was an immediate fucking brawl. Urban, yes, I agree. Audie, I bet you we grew up very similar in fucking, uh, uh, in different cities, but similar shit. Just, you know, different fucking color, so what? You still, you still same street type of nonsense. I'm just playing around Joe was calling me fixing Big Rob's hormones. He won't die from his death. Joe gets anal, 2000, yes! I, I have a feeling you're gonna be right, because you guys got me that New Year's Eve fucking uh, uh, a suck off. Stop! I'd eat Big Rob's supposed wife ass. Listen, the pictures they show of her, I would say she's a very attractive lady, but I would never say anything bad about her because that's, I just, it, that's, that's, I don't know, it's kind of pussy thing to do that. Can we arrange an all you can eat hummus contest? <laughs> I don't like hummus. I tried it and I just disliked it. So he could easily out hummus me. Joe gets anal 2019. <laughs> Let's make it happen. I hope I do, because I want to pull my dick out and see Brown. <laughs> it's all jokes and petty stuff. He doesn't mean it. You have to have fun, bro. Uh, let me get this right, Joe. This show is sponsored by Legal <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> Mark, yes, you're right. <laughs> 
I, I hope that legal steroids, they check in and see that we fucking promote this. I got to do a mashup with that. Every fucking time you said last week was the best of Mikey and, and Thea. They're all actually on an airplane right now. I sort of post from them. They're going to moving to Hawaii. I've been to viewing you now, Joe. Yeah, I, that was great, bro. <laughs> it's fine. To view me. Do you know who Johnny Fitness is? Is that the Unnaturals? Lemkin with the Burger King, Burger King bathroom bodyguards? I do know who he is then. Johnny Fitness from the Bronx? Is he really from the Bronx? The, the once in Genova versus Johnny Fitness? Were you in New York when Big Rob's cousin hit the... <laughs> yes, I actually was at Ground Zero for fucking part of the recovery and fucking rescue mission. I guess we did grow up the same. You said... Oh, <laughs> look at Artie. I love hummus. I tried because it's good for you. I just didn't like it. How does your wife feel about you exposing your sex abuse? She gets pissed at me and says that I'm a fucking asshole. Why do I talk like that about us? And I just tell her it's a joke. And I use Howard as an example when he talks about the fucking home life. Joe gets anal 2020. Joe's slogan for mayor. I got to wait another year now? I just started 2019, Lowry. You're my good luck charm with my, you know, sex hashtags. Don't mention Big Rob's natural vitamins, DHE. Yeah, how is how douchey was that? Go to natural vitamin, whatever. What the fuck? <laughs> I got to try some legal steroids. That definitely won't fuck me up or anything. No, they won't fuck you up, bro. It's, it's like a super supplement. It's like a supplement on steroids. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. yep, oh, yep, 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 yep. So that's the fucking story. Let me fix that. That's crooked. I got it crooked. Sorry, it was crooked. Johnny Cockroach. Why does everybody, like, what made him the target of so much fury, Chris? I don't you know. I don't know a whole backstory at it. Johnny was packing at the Olympia. Does he have a gun license still? I mean, I know he was a cop. I believe he resigned. I don't think he got fired, but maybe I'm wrong. If he got fired, he's not allowed to have a fucking gun, you know? I mean, Johnny Lemkin on here, dude, hilarious on his live stream. Um, are you, no, I am not promoting Johnny Lemkin gear. I actually, he did take an ad out with us uh, like on Greg and Joe TV when we first started it, like way over a year ago. You see Genova taking gear and not working out. The misfits really need to speak to him. Why would you use gear and not work out? I was supposed to interview him yesterday and today, and it didn't happen. It's just, when you're dealing with Jason, this is, you, 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 this is, you just roll with it. <laughs> I see a lot of parallels with you and Howard. Maybe you leave Allison. Yes, I thought Allison was attractive as hell. Now, obviously, the Beth one is much tra more attractive. But when I used to do the security for Howard Stern, a couple of gigs, his wife used to be there all the time. I found her beautiful. And this is back in the 90s. Time for a commercial break. How many wives in the Mickey Calloway coveted? <laughs> I, I, he resigned. Oh, okay. But some say he stole it. If he resigned, then I guess he could. Um, uh, and he, yes, there is a, a certain license where you can go state to state with it. He sells bunk gear to kids. He had a booth at two expos so i think he's selling stuff like this it's not trying to say it's gear i don't know and he fucks his dogs well i don't know Campano, come on uh all i know is that he he um when i went up to say hi to him at the olympia he was very standoffish and i was just like you know i knew him because he took out an ad and we had spoke like via email yeah we actually spoke on the phone once we spoke uh, on email one time uh, not too long before the Olympia. So I just went up to him. I said, hey, John, how you doing? Joe Pitaj. And he was just like, and he like reluctantly shook my hand after I stuck it out. He goes, and I had my microphone on me. And he's like, I'm not doing any interviews. I said, I'm not asking you to do an interview. <laughs> I, you know, I was like, I just was saying, what's up? You know, I'm not, if you don't advertise with me and you are at a booth, I'm not interviewing you about your fucking product because why? I'm giving away the fucking store. I just wanted to fucking say hi because he had dealt with me before. We spoke not too long before that. 
And uh, I, I never met him in person. So I was just like, hey, what's up? He stuck the logo for my friend Bruno. That, th those drawings that he has was from the guy who drew all of those for muscular development back in the 90s. The original owner. So it's not even the unnaturals. I'm talking somebody stole, that guy stole it from another guy. So both of those guys stole. Um, I forget, Dave uh, uh, Camerica knows the guy who I'm talking about. And I met him at the Arnold a couple of years ago. He does T-shirts now with those drawings. He actually was an excellent fucking artist. Lemkin may be the only fitness guy out there with smaller legs than Big Rob. <laughs> what happens to your big T. Michael sponsorship? They're still in. T. Michael does, they're old school. They do the mag and they do a banner. Um, and they used to, he did a commercial for a little while when we first started doing Greg and Joe stuff. Um, but uh, Joe, his name is, he, um, he, they're old school like me. They like the, uh, the print and stuff like that. So he just likes to do print and he has a banner. Ilias, I haven't heard from him in the longest time. And Camerica's doing videos for me again. Camerica is doing uh, Superhero Strong. We just posted a new one with the lovely, the lovely, oh, you get, bro, the, the, you talk about a hot chick that has a good job. Fucking, uh, what's the name of the video? Hang on a second. Let me look at it. Sabrina Kegel, uh, Kegley, Kegel. <laughs> That's a Freudian slip. Sabrina uh, Kegley, she's an NPC figure broad. Tighten that booty with NPC figure Sabrina Kegley on the Muscle Sport TV YouTube channel. Um, so he interviewed her, and uh, she's very, very cute. Uh, I met her at the Olympia twice. I, I think she'll be at the LA Fit Expo. Uh, Nacha Borley, Rick, F Nature Boy, Rick Flaring. Does Genova still do little articles for you? Yes, he does. We got a new one. Thank you, Chris Bra. You know who I'm talking. Kegels. <laughs> I'm doing Kegels right now. <laughs> Where is the uh, Genova? Here's the Genova. The new one, the, the, uh, the new issue is actually in route as we speak. I have a tracking number uh, via UPS. And um, Jason's article is about his Olympia experience and his mom being there. And there is a photo of the Game Goblin in the magazine. So all you guys, can, uh, if you guys have never seen, Jason's mother is a sweetheart. Like I said yesterday, she texted me on New Year's Eve for Happy New Year. And I thought that was adorable. We would love to see Big Lenny write articles. I would too, man. So much knowledge, funny, he needs money. <laughs> I would I would love to fucking have Lenny do stuff on LeBron. LeBron's a dick. I can't stand him. Kegley. Okay. Schneider. What's up, Schneider? Rorod. Woo. Where is fucking Grizzly, man? I need the bloat lord. Joe, any thoughts on... Sentiments are passing of a corny of no. Ed corny was a great guy, man. Always a sweet guy. Seen him at many expos. I'm getting the countdown, so I'm gonna have to make this quick. 